Welcome back to Traveling with Crushworth. I'm Kevin. And I'm Lizzie. This is part one of our travels through British Columbia from back in 2020. We had quite a few adventures while road tripping to Shushwap Lake, everything from learning about the conservation of wolves, exploring an old growth forest, being creeped out in a historic ghost town, and many other surprises. Thank you to everyone who has recently followed us. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe with the notifications on. And with that, come join us. Nearly three hours have passed since Kevin and I left Calgary. Our first stop is the Northern Lights Wolf Centre outside the town of Golden. It's here where a pack of wolves, unlike any other, help show people their species' important role in balancing entire ecosystems, that pivotal yin and yang between predator and prey. 100% wolf, these animals were born in captivity and were brought to the centre from across North America. It's conservation through activism, and these wolves are perfect ambassadors. We've come for an interpretive talk just outside the enclosures. An unexpected gift, we learned about how intelligent, clever, curious and social wolves can be. Next time, we'll have to return and take a walk in the wild. Yes, with a well-behaved wolf off-leash beside us. We weren't in the car long before our next stop. The tranquility of an old growth forest has us wrapped up in its beauty. We're in Mount Revelstoke National Park walking the giant cedars boardwalk. These trees, look at them. Experts believe some are 500 years old. It's a quiet place where one ponders the majesty of nature and strives to find every way to protect it. One of the most strange, eerie and altogether fascinating roadside attractions Kevin and I are at the Heritage Ghost Town at Three Valley Gap. For over 60 years, the Bell family has been stewards of history, with the late Gordon Bell and his wife Ethel reclaiming properties at risk of demolition. Board by board, buildings were dismantled and painstakingly rebuilt here. From an 1865 saloon in which burlesque performers once danced, to the Hotel Bellevue, we couldn't shake a sense of perpetual unease. Something else wasn't keen on us visiting. Maybe those who once knew these places never left them. A place of pride for the owners. They don't dispute that their ghost town might be more crowded than they think. plus room chateau perched in an iconic position at the edge of the lake of the three valleys was featured in the paranormal investigation television show stranded but we're on our way to a high flying experience i'm already overthinking our next stop the sky trek adventure park what did i sign myself up for but we're excited to try something new and do it together we're getting into our harnesses and I'm nervous. Ahead we have the first couple of test platforms to help us get used to the heights. I quickly learned I wouldn't be very good at this. Securely fastened and ready to climb, it's time for tricky obstacles and our favorite, yes, the zip line. Oh, and thank you to the team for rescuing me more than once. We're at Crazy Creek and we're ambling across the suspension bridge and heading up the gorge to see the waterfalls. For us, there's more to see next time. 
We'll be back for the ruins of 19th century Milltown Taft in the site's nearby resort and campground. Now we're on to Krigaliki, the site where the last spike was driven in, completing the East-West Canadian Pacific Railway in 1885. As much as rail helped build our country, we must never forget the injustices committed against Chinese laborers, the hundreds who died building the notorious mountain lines, and the humiliating and discriminatory head tax inflicted upon them. Thank you for watching this episode of Traveling with Crushworth. To return to Heritage Park, click the link to the left. To follow us to Shuswap Lake, click the link to the right. We'd love to hear about your adventures in the interior of BC in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, and don't hesitate to watch other videos. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.